Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm still playing Elite Dangerous. I'm off to go and buy a Type 10. Yes, everybody, the Type 10 has indeed been released by Frontier Developments. So, you can generally buy these at High Tech Alliance space stations. I'd encourage you to look at the internet about that. Or, do what I'm doing, the Path of Least Resistance, I'm off to the Founders Station, Jameson Memorial. So, I've hightailed it all the way from HIP 16753, where I was doing the Lehman Legacy Rescue Missions earlier on this afternoon. And here I am at Jameson Memorial Station. Now this station allows you to buy every ship in the game if you're a backer or if you have elite status. And you get quite a little bit of discount as well. Now, how much discount I'm going to get? I don't know. Brand new ship in game and all the rest of it. So the prices I'm about to give you for the Type 10 Defender are what they are at Jameson Memorial. I don't know yet what they are as an Alliance space station. So the old Inquisitive Badger was running on fumes. Let's scroll through and take a look. Yeah, it is all there. Type 10 Defender, 109,472,813 credits. Don't forget those 13 credits, eh? So, let's have one. Nice and easy. Handy when you've got the money from doing all those passenger missions, eh? So, it's taken a bit of time to load the model, and here it is, and it looks like a big old beast straight away. You can see it definitely channels the old Type 9. Into outfitting, and let's see what we got. Now, as a standard machine, you're only going to get about a six light year jump range from whatever frameshift drive you've got there, so off to see Felicity Farcia. For utility mounts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least eight, nine. Utility points, and you've got your pulse lasers. So you've got plenty of hard points there. All large, small, and medium hard points. Good for turrets, I suppose, as well. So you've got cargo rack capacity. You've got a 6E shield rack. So this machine, and two military slots as well. So this is going to be rife for modifying and getting some, I don't know, Class A weaponry in there. Or if you want a good jump range, you want Class D. Okay, so let's have a look at this thing. What we've all been waiting for on the surface of the space station. It's going to be nicely lit, so there'll be no irritating shadows. So let's take a good look around. So what have we got? It's a big old unit, finished as standard with a nice big, what looks like to be a huge spoiler on the back of it, in red and grey. And that kind of works. It looks like as if an awful lot of the ship kits have been tacked onto the outside of the model, but it does look like it can do quite a bit of damage when it's completely tooled up. We've got the cockpit at the front, air intakes at the front as well, much like the Type 9. And there's going to be an awful lot of references to the Type 9, you know, and sequentially the Type 10 is going to be a combat version of that. More manoeuvrable, more hard points, more utility mounts as well. So you're going to look, be having to look for, I think, a huge power supply, a huge power plant and a good power distributor as well. And then look at your frameshift drive. And it can be very easy to just rush in and just start Type A rating all these things. Whereas Type D rated items as well could give you a better jump range and you know, reduce your weight. This is effectively, I think, going to be a combat ship. So let's launch. Let's get this thing up in the air. And take another quick look outside. Yeah, it's a big old beast as well, isn't it? You know, people are buying Type 9s and stuff in this station. It'd be very important not to try and hit one of those on the way out. And let's get moving. Let's get this thing out into space and see how fast it'll go. So, engines on. Let's try not to cock it up going through the station port. And here we are, yes. Indeed, we are out in deep space, everyone, in a Type 10. Look at that. All eight engines burning. 
I think that looks quite good, actually. Depending on how much you can get the jump range going and in the boost, it looks fantastic as well. Yeah, depending on how much jump range we can get out of it, this could be a very interesting ship indeed. I mean, built to combat the Thargoid threat anyway. So, you know, look out Thargoids. God knows what it's going to be like if an entire wing of these things goes up against the new Medusa class or even the Basilisk class. A lot of players have been doing them solo if they're really skilled and have got the ship for it. But a complete flight of these things, well, that's going to do a bit of damage. So, at cruise, we can cruise with four pips to the engines at around about 178, 179. And a boost with the stock engines, two, we topped out at 218 there. So, not bad. Now, I've only got pulse lasers on there, so, hey, I've only got the two stock ones. And there you go. It's not going to do much to the, the weapon module, is it? Let's be fair. So, heading on back round towards the station. I think it's quite a nice looking ship. Whether it's worth the wait, we've got to see what it's like in combat. And it'd be interesting to see what the community does with a tool like this. And at only 109 million credits, it's not breaking the bank. I was expecting... Well, that's at Founders World anyway, so you do get a discount. I was expecting something around about the 200 million mark, but then I suppose the rebuy would be a bit would be a bit expensive. So, what's it like to jump? Well, at the moment you're only going to get a 6.4 light year jump range, and that's fine. And the rebuy, 4.1 million credits, which isn't bad stock. Go on to functions page. 6.7 light year jump range. Sorry. I do beg your pardon. It's the excitement. And it's nearly Christmas. And who says he comes once a year, eh? So, let's see what this thing is like to dock. So, we're flying towards the old station. We're all lined up nicely. We've requested our docking. And let's take this thing in. Now, I imagine forward momentum is going to be an issue. Just cutting the engines, get out the way ship, just cutting the engines isn't going to do it. I think you've got to give yourself a little bit of time and we're on pad 10. Now looking through the window, there's pad 10 over there. We're through the station's entrance. We're going to line it up. We're deaccelerating. We've got our landing gear down. I'm coming in at a real strange angle. No docking computers here. Can't be out with all that messing about. Although, to be honest, it might be a good idea. It's such a big ship. But quite maneuverable, I must say. Not as unwieldy as some of the other bigger ships that you get around. So, we're lined up. Just about. The gear is definitely down, yes. And we're down. So, not so bad. A quick little run around in the Type 10 Defender. And there it is, everyone. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like and subscribe button and check out for more videos in the series. I've been Ricardo and this has been Elite Dangerous. See you soon and fly safe.